This video will explain to you what is virtualization. Virtualization is a concept in which access to a single underlying piece of hardware, like a server, is coordinated so that multiple guest operating systems can share that single piece of hardware, with no guest operating system being aware that it is actually sharing anything at all. Today, many data centers have machines running at only 10 or 15% of total processing capacity. In other words, 85 or 90 percent of the machine's power is unused. This situation is a waste of computing resources. By applying virtualization, organizations can raise their hardware use rate from 10 or 15 percent to 70 or 80 percent, thereby making much more efficient use of corporate capital. Today, business process has been captured in software and automated, moving from paper to computers. In 2003, the world's computer users created and stored 5 exabytes of new data. A recent study by the Enterprise Strategy Group predicted that government and corporation will store over 25 exabytes of data by the year 2010. In 2006, the storage industry shipped as much storage in one month as it did in the entire year of 2000. Companies are running out of space in their data centers. Virtualization helps organizations to reclaim data center territory, thereby avoiding the expense of building up more data center space. The cost of running computers, coupled with the fact that many of the machines filling up data centers are running at low utilization rate, means that virtualization's ability to reduce the total number of physical servers can significantly reduce the overall cost of energy for companies. Computers do not operate on their own. Every server requires care and feeding by system administrator who ensure that the server runs properly. This job is pretty labor-intensive. The steady increase in server number has meant that the job market for system administrators has been good. Very good. As a part of an effort to rein in operation cost increases, virtualization offers the opportunity to reduce overall system administration costs by reducing the overall number of machines that need to be taken care of. Virtualization can reduce system administration requirement by 30 to 50% per virtualized servers. Software technology allowing applications to run on many different operating systems and hardware platforms. This usually means that the application has been written to use an application framework. It also means that applications running on the same system that do not use this framework do not get the benefits of an application virtualization. This technology offers the ability to restart an application in case of failure. To start another instance of an application if the application is not meeting service level objective. Or provide workload balancing among multiple instances of an application to achieve high level of scalability. Some really sophisticated approach to application virtualization can do this magical feat without requiring that the application be re-architected or rewritten using a special application framework. Hardware and software technology that hides physical hardware configuration from system services, operating systems, or applications. This type of virtualization technology can make one system appear to be many or many systems appear to be a single computing resources. To achieve goal ranging from raw performance, high level of scalability, reliability or affability, agility, or consolidation of multiple environments into a single system. Hardware and software technology that presents a view of the network that differs from the physical view 
A personal computer, for example, may be allowed to see only systems that it is allowed to access. Another common use is making multiple network links appear to be a single link. These approaches make it possible for the link to present higher levels of performance and reliability. Last but not least, it's storage virtualization. Storage virtualization is hardware and software technology that hide where storage systems are and what type of device is actually storing application and data. This technology allows many systems to share the same storage devices without knowing that other are also accessing them. This technology also makes it possible to take a snapshot of a live system so that it can be backed up without hindering online or transactional applications. To sum up everything, virtualization is a very powerful tool if it is used properly. However, it is not a panacea, or it means it's not the only way. Using the wrong tool or using the right tool improperly can result in poor performance, higher cost for the organization, and the organization not being able to meet its objectives. Virtualization is best used when the organization has an overarching plan and is developing solution to fit an architecture rather than focusing on the hot tool of the moment.